Uh, I'm Richard. I'm a software engineer on the Google Decision Forest team uh, in Switzerland. And I'm here to talk to you about machine learning training on the web, building simple ML for Sheets. So this being the last talk uh, gives me the opportunity to do something a little bit different. First, I will talk about actually training models on the web, not just doing inference. And uh, it will be not neural network based, but decision forest based. So let's get started. Um, let me take you back to the very first talk that Jason gave, where he talked about the ML workflow, the typical ML workflow that's not on the web. It's you have a server where you train a model and then you deploy that model on a different server and that server then serves predictions to your web application. And that's, that's a very simplified but very traditional um, uh, workflow then you can bring this to the web by saying, okay, the inference is on the web. So I train the model on some server using some data, but then I deploy the model in the browser and things mostly now work offline um, because I can compute predictions in the browser. So now I wanna take this a step further and say, what if I have, I collect my data in the browser and I train the model in the browser, I deploy it in the browser, and I compute predictions in the browser. What if I take it all to the web? Um, and this is really what I want to talk about. And I'll first explain the why. So why is that cool? And why could, could we or should we do that? Then I will talk about the how. How can we do that? And I will introduce YDF, which is a machine learning library that I'm working on um, that can allow you to train models on the web. And then I'll show you a use case that we launched two years ago and presented at last year's Google I.O., which is Simple ML for Sheets. So uh, why train models on the web? I essentially, there are three advantages, some of which we've already seen today. We need minimal infrastructure, we have privacy by design, and we can enable personalized results. So minimal infrastructure, this is just fantastic. You need no compute resources on a server. In fact, static hosting is enough if you're relying on web technologies such as JavaScript, WebAssembly, or the web APIs. That makes everything very cheap and very convenient. And it's especially convenient if you work in a restricted environment, such as offline, such as internal networks, or such as Google Apps Script, which we'll see for the simple ML for Sheets part of this talk. Second, there is the privacy by design. So if you train on the web, you really have the data for the model staying with your user on their device. The model, of course, stays on device. And something uh, that you can prevent very effectively uh, by training on the web is there is no co cross-contamination of models. Every, uh, it cannot happen that one user's data would leak into uh, another user's model. Finally, uh, training on the web allows you to train on the user's data, so allows you to really give them personalized results and flexibly adapt to their needs, which is not always possible by using uh, a model that uh, has been pre-trained on some other data. It's really all about the user's data. So now that you're hopefully excited about training in the browser, I want to introduce you to YDF, and that's the little tree that you see there. Simply put, YDF is a library to train, evaluate, interpret, and serve decision forest models. And decision forest models, for those who don't know, are a family of machine learning models, just like neural networks are a family of machine learning models. Decision forest models are used both for supervised and unsupervised learning, and uh, the most popular learning algorithms in that class are random forests and gradient booster trees. Decision forest models are really cool because they offer some very interesting features, especially for the web. Namely, they're really fast. They, you can train a decision forest model often in seconds, and inference is often in microseconds. Furthermore, they're really, really good um, for tabular data. They give you state-of-the-art performance if you're, using um, if you're using gradient booster trees. 
and they're also really, really good for ranking, which is why Google has uh, invested in decision forest models and we've used YDF in production since 2018 and open sourced it uh, in 2022. So how do you use YDF? I'm gonna sh first show the Python code because this is the, the classic way of doing machine learning um, in a server. So you pip install the YDF package and then you uh, have something really easy. You just import YDF, you load your data and then you train a model essentially in one line or here I've, I have split it up into five lines for readability, but you really just define the label, define the task, define maybe some other parameters such as a pure serving model, and um, then you just train on your data. And that works because decision forests as a class of learning algorithms are particularly stable towards the choice of hyperparameters. In other words, default hyperparameters give you very good models for decision forests. But this is a web AI conference, so uh, what do I do with JavaScript? Well, I do essentially the same thing, but I don't download from pip, I download from npm. The package is called YDF training. And then I do the same thing. I load YDF, I load my data, and then I create a model um, with pretty much the same, uh, uh, the same ideas. And you can recognize maybe the, the slight difference between the two languages. And you can immediately predict on that model. So YDF training is our newly open sourced, I think th last week we open sourced uh, the YDF training uh, API for JavaScript and uh, the Python API has been going on, uh, has been open sourced for much longer. The cool thing about uh, training in um, training in JavaScript is that you can train the exact same models through WebAssembly than in Python. So through WebAssembly, um, we essentially share 95% of the code between the Python API, the C++ API, and uh, the JavaScript API. Training still only takes a few seconds. And uh, while for the Python API, we support a multitude of different input formats, for JavaScript for now, we support CSV, and object data. For anyone who wants to uh, just make predictions, so if you don't need the training, we offer a separate API on NPM, the YDF inference API. This is a little bit smaller and just focused on making the predictions, so just our prediction engines. Predictions um, generally take only a few microseconds, so you can make a lot of predictions in a second. And uh, one more thing is that this all runs on CPU. So we're in the microsecond range even without any specialized compute. Okay, and um, this was a very quick intro to YDF. So now I wanna show you a cool product that we built uh, using YDF and that we launched two years ago, which is Simple ML for Sheets. And that's what the little owl is for. So Simple ML for Sheets is a free add-on for Google Sheets that allows anyone to build machine learning models within Google Sheets. And it's really designed to be machine learning for everyone. It does not require the user to write a single line of code or to have any prior knowledge of machine learning. It does not share data with any third parties and everything either happens in Google Sheets or on your browser. We now have over 150K uh, installations globally and the add-on is free to download. So instead of a risky live demo, I'll go briefly over the main functionality of Simple ML for Sheets just with screenshots this time. So let's say you have a spreadsheet, a boring old spreadsheet, but you have uh, some data. Here, this is data about cute penguins. Um, we have the bill length, we have the flipper length, we have the body mass, the year, and we have the species. But unfortunately, the species column has some missing values that we want to fill in. And we want to use machine learning, or specifically simple ML for sheets, to fill in the missing values. So after installing the add-on, we get the sidebar that you see there. 
And uh, you see the tasks that you can do with simple Melfa sheets, predicting missing values, spotting abnormal values, or forecasting, which is great, especially in financial domains. But here we're in the predicting missing values category. So we click on that, and then we get another menu. That's, again, very, very easy. You just say which column contains your empty cells. It's the species column. And then you can customize it here, but we don't, really don't have to do that. We just click predict. And now the magic happens. What happens is the uh, Sheets transfers your data to your own computer. There, uh, YDF trains a machine learning model on the existing data and then uses that machine learning model to predict the rows where we have missing data. And then these predictions are being sent back to uh, Google Sheets, which gives you the predictions and the confidence that the model has in the individual predictions. So this is really machine learning with just a few clicks um, and designed for, for anyone to use, really. And in, in, a, in simple terms, Simple Alpha Sheets trains YDF models in the browser on Google Sheets data, which means that we get um, the major value propositions of Simple Alpha Sheets essentially for free by using YDF, minimal infrastructure, privacy by design, and personalized results. We really train on every user's individual data. Going a little bit deeper on how we build it, there's really two components, both powered by web technologies. On the one hand, there is Google Apps Script. Google Apps Script is a cloud-based JavaScript platform powered by Google Drive that lets you integrate with and ta automate tasks across Google products. We use Apps Script for coordinating between Google Sheets and YDF. And then in the browser, Apps Script creates an iframe where we can run YDF and YDF trains the model, analyzes them, and makes the predictions. The predictions are sent back to AppScript, and we also store the models on Google Drive. And they can be used even outside um, of Sheets. Of course, uh, the next step for Google Sheets will be Gen AI, and we're really excited about the built-in AI features that we've seen today in Chrome. It complements YDF perfectly, and it's not quite launched yet, but we're really looking forward to the next version of Simple and Alpha Sheets to integrate that. And with that, uh, I invite you to try out both YDF and Simple and Alpha Sheets. This is a cool thing they made for us uh, when we were presenting at Google I.O. Um, so YDF, you can uh, go to our Read the Docs website and uh, download the packages from NPM. Simple ML for Sheets, you can install in the Google Workspace Marketplace or just go to simplemlforsheets.com for a uh, tutorial and all the information you need. So that was the last talk. Thank you very much and yeah, hope to see you.